In this video, we're gonna talk about Spawn's shocking kill and how it ignites a rescue mission for Granny Blake. Alrighty then, this is a comic book review of King Spawn, issue number 34, brought to you by Rated Comics. Let's get to it. Now previously in King Spawn, Spawn's confrontation with Kruger leads to the angel's death. Spawn, he's about business, he's standing on business, and Kruger got to go. But now a new mission to rescue Granny Blake begins. So here are the facts. A group of angels now turned mortal kidnapped someone very dear to Al Simmons. And now that he's on the airplane ready to do that rescue mission, here's another fact that happens too. That same group made it seem like one of their opponents had done the kidnapping. That man was named Kruger. It's all a setup. They're all pulling strings here to get Al Simmons to do their bidding. Now Al Simmons wanted to know where the person who kidnapped Granny Blake was. Simmons killed Kruger after he got his answers. And the group who wanted Kruger out of the way also had a friend of Simmons shot. Now Simmons needs to get back into America without getting caught. As he passes by US Customs and does his thing, and he gets back to New York, now it's time to plan. And his plan is to meet up with Terry's daughter, Cyan. So Spawn thanks Cyan for, you know, her taking the time to meet with him and all that. And Al Simmons is like, you heard about your dad, right? And Cyan's like, I did. They say he's stable, that he'll live. Because remember a few issues back, Terry Fitzgerald got shot. And Al Simmons is like, that's good, but they've got security around him, so I can't see him. And Cyan's like, what, you lost your powers, right? Well, most of us did. What about you? And Cyan's like, I don't know. I really haven't had to use them. So Al was like, well, let me know. In the meantime, can you do me a favor? Watch over your dad. There's forces that are using people like your dad to draw me out. And Cyan's like, so is that why he got shot? I think so, says Al. Look, I know you and your dad don't get along, but I just want to know he's all right. And I believe you do too, but they won't hassle the child of a shooting victim. That's why I need you to do this. And Cyan's like, you know the cops are still looking for me, right? You remember that. And that's going back to Spawn issue 267 to 271, which, hey, eventually we'll get to those issues, but that's the editorial notes right there. So Al Simmons is like, look, I need your answer now. Why, says Cyan, because this was just a detour. I'm going to save someone you love, Granny Blake. And Cyan's like, oh, say less, count me in. And Spawn's like, okay then I'll need you to protect her after that, all right? So do your thing, watch over your dad, because I'm gonna need you to protect Granny Blake when I get her out, I'll be in touch. So across town, these other vampires are like, good, with Kruger gone from the picture now, some of his people would need a new home. Make sure to get rid of most of them. So this brother's like, okay, so what do you want to do about the vampires? And the guy that's pulling all the strings, which you know very little about, but they got Spawn to successfully do the bidding on killing Kruger and taking him out the picture, all in the name of trying to find a plot around Blood, he's telling him like, look man, those that helped Kruger weren't loyal to Blood, so if you were to serve a couple of those traitors to him, we could buy time, though eventually, Blood wants to wipe us all out. We need to be last on his list when he does it, all right? So we just got to prolong our survival. So this guy smirks like, so that means dropping Spawn into his lap. Oh yeah, he's taking our bait. Should we set the trap? No, not yet. Let's keep an eye out on him, all right? For now, then report back. What he did to Kruger and his gang last night was quite brutal. Let's give him some time to cool off. What those shadow players are going to find out since they've really gotten close to Al Simmons is that when he gets worked up, he doesn't stop chewing on his bone until there's nothing left. Boy's bricked up on that violence right now. So meanwhile, we get to see where Granny Blake is being held at and this guy's like, what's wrong now? <laughs> Granny Blake is coughing because she's elderly, you know? She's like, I told you I'm sick, man. I need my medicine. You keep saying that and I keep telling you I don't have any. But I know we can get some, says Granny Blake. Is that right? Well, why don't I just run out and go get you some and maybe even some extra? You can tell brother's being sarcastic. And Granny Blake is like, look, man, <laughs> I'm sick and I need to go home. Don't worry. This will all be over soon, says the brother. I don't understand any of this, says Granny Blake. So this guy comes outside, talks to this compadre or this other brother in training, and this guy is like, look, man, I don't know how much more of this I can take of that woman. Always whining about something. She's old. Relax. Then you figure out why she's coughing so much. It's getting on my damn nerves. My orders are just to stand here and guard. She's your problem. But I don't get paid if she dies, so you better get your stuff together and take care of her, all right? Because if something happens to my payday, that's your ass. Mm. So the brother has to walk away and do his thing, not without leaving the bird, you know? So he makes a call like, hey, Benny, I need a favor. Got a female problem here, and I need a couple of you to come relieve me for a few hours. You know the place. And it turns out the door is stuck, so he tries to open the door, and what gives? And Spawn kicks down the door like, nah, I'll tell you what gives business, and your ass got to pay. So where is she? 
And boy comes in with the heavy hand and quickness and spawns like, whoa, okay, he has to curse himself because he never lets his enemy get the jump on him, though it only pisses him off because bro don't let that happen too often, but you know what? He's ready for the smoke. So 12 minutes later, the guys are like, okay, we're here, where's Leon? He's supposed to meet us here, and why is your front door smashed in? So they get the guns out, something's not right, and the hallway isn't supposed to be shut, so they wonder what's going on. As they enter, the darkness of the room makes the men squint and attempting to adjust their eyes. For Spawn, it's more than enough time as he needed to be able to take them all out, all three of them. He just needed a little bit of a jump, and he got that. So when he originally had hope there was only one, he was happy there was three. Either way, these men, all of them, agreed to join a plot that kept a frail old woman from her family. They were fine that she was terrified by her abduction. And when she begged for her medicine, they simply didn't give a damn. So now, that's exactly how Spawn would deal with them. Not giving a damn. No mercy, all business. So Spawn's like, okay, good. The backup goons will come. They always do. So when they come, they're like, okay, I thought they went this way. How about this way? They're kind of confused. And during the Roman military training, they taught their troops how to confuse their enemies by making them guess what direction an impending attack would come from. So with every any direction being equally valid, as long as confusion reigned, and that's all Spawn need. As long as confusion reigned, he'll deliver the kill. And once again, his enemies are vanquished. So now he goes in for the target. Return back to his prime objective. Granny Blake hears a door open. She's like, who is it? Who's there? It's okay, Granny. It's me. And you can tell she's relieved. Ow, dear. I prayed so hard for God to help me to send someone. And he sent you. It's you. You've been gone for so long. And I was so scared. I never thought, shh. He wouldn't leave you alone. You're too important to heaven. Is that true? Says Granny Blake. Did God say that? I knew he wouldn't abandon me. But I was so scared. I, I was really scared. Well, you know what? You're safe now. And you know what? You're brave. You're braver than most people. So he's consoling her, hugging her, telling her good job because you handle business. But you know what? It's time you went home. Lots of people are waiting for you. So those men, did you talk to them? Asked Granny Blake. Well, did you, they just agree to let me go? What did you tell them? And Spawn has to protect her by telling her lies. A lot of lies. Also, all Granny Blake can tell Spawn is, <laughs> you're my angel, Al. And that is the end of King Spawn, issue number 34. That Spawn's shocking kill ignites his rescue mission. So now that he's got Granny Blake, we don't know what the next story plot's gonna be from here but you know what this issue had a lot of slaying a lot of killing and i'm all with it what you guys think of the comic book comment below let me know also link in description if you wish to add this comic book and or any of our other limited print rated comics exclusives to add to your comic book collection support the art support the industry lastly this video is sponsored by coffee so if you'd like to buy a boy a cup of coffee link in description or donate to the super thanks but the greatest compliment you guys could do is by liking this video and subscribing to rated comics youtube channel Thank you again for watching. Until next time.